Hi, I'm Brett, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a signal wire to the snap-in style connector on a C-series module. Now, I think this is the fastest and easiest way to connect a sensor to a compact DAC or a compact RIO system. Uh, so here's one of the modules with a snap-in style connector. The, the connector is part of the module, so different connectors have different part numbers. The connector, this, this particular module has four channels, so there's four connectors on it and each one has two terminals. So you have your plus and your minus. You pull these orange levers up and that coils the spring and makes it ready. And so now I can take a signal wire. So here is a pretty small gauge solid core wire and I'm gonna stick it into one of the terminals and snap. I don't know if you heard that, but there's a little click. And then there's also a little green tab that sticks out right there, but that's in, that's, that's all I did. And you see me tugging on it uh, this now meets the Serio shock and vibe spec of 50 Gs of shock and 5 Gs of vibration uh, just with that little click. Here, let me show you some other, some other wires. Uh, so that was a solid core wire. Here's a kind of a medium size stranded wire. Oh, click, it's just that easy. Here's one with a ferrule connected to it. Click that in. And then here's a larger gauge. This is like a 14 gauge or maybe a 16 gauge signal wire. And even that just it, they just all click right in. That is so quick and easy. Um, it really is the, I think, the fastest and easiest way to connect a signal wire uh, to, the, to systems like this. Uh, okay, let's talk about uh, strain relief. So like any other connector, there's the connector when you pull it off for a second. Uh, like any other connector, we have these back shells that you can assemble around the connector uh, to add some strain relief. Now these are sold separately. So I've got actually a kit here. So there's four and they come with zip ties. So this is essentially what your accessory kit would look like. And I'm gonna steal this zip tie and I'm gonna build one right now. So if I take, here's my, here's my connector from that other module that I just pulled off. And let's build, let's put the back shell around this. So I'm gonna start, should only go in one way. And, oh, here we go, backwards. Feels like a USB cable where you always put it in upside down the first way. Okay, so I've got the connector seated in half of the back shell. And then there's two little zip tie holes on either side. So I'm gonna thread through one side and then up the other. And I've put the, the zip tie bump on the inside so now I can sort the zip tie. And all right, and I'm gonna kind of work it through. There we go. All right, so now that is zipped in there. And I'm gonna take some little snips, cut that off. Okay, so now with the two wires going through the zip tie and then out the at the opening, uh, if there's a little tug on the wire, it should tug on the zip tie and not the terminal. So that's just another extra level of protection. And then I can put the other side of the shell on and it should snap into place, snaps like that. And there you have it. That is a nice little pre-made cable with my two sides coming out. And if I wanted to, I can just plug it right back into the module like a snap. And that's how you connect a signal wire to a snap-in style module for C-Series.